guys, welcome back to my channel, Healthy with Nicole. I wanted to give you a quick tip today on how to get more iron into your body, especially for my vegan and vegetarian friends. It's really common to have low iron. This is one of my favorites. It helped me tremendously when I had a blood loss experience and really helped me to bounce back. So uh, my favorite herb, nettles. If you've ever been on a hike and through some little grassy patches and gotten uh, stung by a plant, it could have been the stinging nettles. There are little bushes and they have formic acid in the leaves and they will uh, brush against your skin and cause a little rash and irritation and inflammation and it's really kind of irritating. But on the flip side, when you consume these, whether you eat them or drink them as a tea, they actually reduce inflammation and a whole bunch of other things, especially helping your hair grow longer and thicker, making your skin look awesome, but also they're really high in iron. So if you're someone that has low iron levels or you might suspect that by um, being tired or having had a lot of blood loss or whatever the case may be, then iron coming from nettles is a great source. So remember, there's two sources of iron. There's heme and non-heme. The heme coming from animal, non-heme coming from plant. So this is, of course, the non-heme, which is said by some people to be less absorbable. I still think it's a great source, and I can tell in my body when I take it. Uh, one of the best ways to use this is just making a simple tea. It's very green and grassy tasting, but I have come to love it. Um, and it simply looks like this. And I drink a quart of this a day. And when I stay on top of that, when I drink a quart of this tea a day, I notice big difference in my hair and my skin. It's kind of like a beauty tonic. So all you need to do is get yourself a little French press. You can put in one ounce of the herb, which you can see I have on the bottom there. Fill the rest up with hot water. Steep it for a couple hours or even overnight. And then press it down to strain it. And that's really all you do is pour it, just like I did here with this quart bottle. This is how I keep all my teas and just pour it in, top it off. It's good in your refrigerator for about two days. I usually drink it in one, and in of itself, just this alone is a great little iron and other vitamins too, a uh, little tea tonic. So enjoy that. If you want some more tips on how to stay healthy, be healthy, check out my website, Healthy with Nicole, and you can look for my 30 days of self-care where I guide you along with my book, Six Steps to Self-Care, on how to use all these little things, little tips that you can do every single day to make your health, your body, and your life a whole bunch better. Subscribe to my channel and you'll get the latest updates for all of my new videos.